everybody, welcome to Cooking with Ryan J. Mo. So tonight we're cooking uh, kale, which is this stuff, and this stuff that I dropped on the ground. We're going to be cooking this with some red snappers, with some fish. It's going to be delicious. So, um, alright, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to marinate the snappers. So I'm going to pour some oil in this pan, which is going to be my snapper cooking pan. It's a snapper cooking pan. Snap, snap. I think I'm just going to throw the snapper in there and let it marinate in the oil a little bit. Uh, while I cut up the kale and shit. I also have some, um, oh wow, that's a giant piece. So I think I'm just going to use this one giant piece of snapper. Snap, snap. Alright, so I'm just going to put this in the olive oil and like dip it around and shit like that. And then what I'm going to do is I took, I got this garlic that I cut up, so I'm just going to like rub this in to both sides. And then this is all just going to cook together when we decide to, uh, when we decide to cook it up. But, I found out the other day, I made kale for the first time the other day. Kale actually takes a little bit of time to cook. So, um, we're going to cook up the kale while this is marinating in the uh, olive oil and garlic. Boom. So this is what kale looks like when you buy it. So we're just going to cut this now, and we're going to put it into this big pan and cook it. Move on to the next project, which is cooking the shit out of this. Alright, so we're just going to add a little bit of olive oil to this. Just a dash. Um, and then we're going to add some water. Um, I had a water cup. And we're going to cook up this kale. So, here we go. Let it cook. And you know what? Might as well start the fish while this is going on. Why not? We'll be cooking two things at once using two burners. This is like a first on Ryan Demo actually doing two things at once. Oh, I also got a lemon. I picked it from my buddy's tree. I walked over to my friend's house and there was a lemon tree and I was like, oh, I need a lemon. This is perfect because I was thinking to myself, I need to go buy lemons because I want to put it on the fish. Now I have a lemon. Woo! I'm going to flip this fish over. Oh, man, that looks really good. You got all that garlic like stuffed in there. So we just keep tending to these. We flip the fish every once in a while and we move this kale around every once in a while. That's all we really have to do to keep this good. You know, actually what both of these things need though is some salt. We're going to add a little bit of salt here, a little bit of salt here. And actually, you know what else this meal needs is some wine. So we're going to do that too. Boom, chill out wine. I haven't really drank any of this stuff, but I pretty much only used it for cooking. Yum yum. So, while, while we're doing this, I might as well ask you the question of the day. So the question of the day is, what are you going to be doing this weekend? Because it's the weekend. So what are you up? What are you guys up to? Um, I don't know what I'm up to yet. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be awesome, whatever it is. But I don't know what I'm doing. But what are you guys up to this weekend? Any big plans or anything like that? If you have some, let me know in the comments below. So, fish, the way you know fish is done is if it separates easily. So if it separates easily, the fish is done. So it looks like this fish is done. All right, let's throw this on a plate. I think we're done. Plate. Fish. That was pretty quick. The whole thing only took a few minutes. I would say it took maybe seven minutes to cook the whole thing. And then kale on the side. And there we go. There's our meal. The meal is not done. We have to add our lemon. So we're just going to squeeze some lemon on top, however much lemon you like. Uh, it goes on top of the kale and the fish. I think that'll be good. And then, you know what we can do? We can throw that on there as garnish. Now it looks like a professional fucking meal. Alright, now the only thing I need to do is try this, but I don't have a fork. Ready? Bam! Oh, now I have a fork. Amazing, huh? The, ma the magic of video. Mmm. Oh, yeah. I love the garlic. Look at all this fish. I get to eat this whole thing. All me. It's awesome. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for. I hope you enjoyed your time on cooking with. I'm cooking with Ryan Jamo. As always, please subscribe if you like it. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Peace out.